Hello humans, Master Dinnerflex here, bringing you the low quality content you deserve. And today, I'll be going over a pretty simple uh, Infer Noble Knight combo. Uh, I was just trying this deck yesterday, I never played it before, didn't know anything about it. But I started like looking up like one or two deck profiles and then I started like playtesting it. And there's a lot of like very cookie cutter combos in the deck where it's just like regular needle fiber stuff except your inboard is a little different. Um, but I wanted to try something that was like really out there. Um, like um, as you can see from the Lady of the Lake in my hand I wanted to try some pretty weird things and it's actually pr kind of interesting how many copies of Lady of the Lake you can have in this in your deck um because it's like three ladies of the lake one one for one one foolish and three dawn knight are all access to it and i guess by extension rota is access to dawn knight so that's like nine copies of lady of the lake you can play but uh that's not what we're here to talk about uh the reason i wanted to do this combo is while the uh combo for infernobles is like really consistent it also isn't super powerful by that i mean there's well you are ripping your card out of their hand and sometimes ending with the negate as well it's like that's pretty much it um there isn't too many disruptions but this combo i believe they will start with five cards in hand and i think i don't remember i think you might end with as many disruptions as they will have cards in hand but let's go ahead and get into it so um you uh neo space connector lady of the lake does this combo so you go for connector summon dolphin discard the lady of the lake with uh dolphin rip a hand trap out of their hand if you ripped her hand trap they're gonna have four cards um which is even better numbers and then you're gonna make his old and now, a lot of the times in the Infernoble, you're trying to summon a tuner. Um, like, you're sending a bunch of equip spells to summon the level 4 tuner. But in this scenario, um, Lady of the Lake can be our tuner for Needle Fiber. Oh, and then a random is old search for whatever you want. Uh, but since Lady of the Lake can be our tuner, we actually are going to send five equip spells. Um, and that's going to summon Ishtar. Ishtar, if you guys have seen my channel before, you know what this does. Um, but since it's level 5, Lady of the Lake can summon itself back. And for those of you who, again, have seen my channel, you know how this card works. Um, as long as you don't synchro summon with it, it never banishes itself. Um, so therefore, you can keep using it. So with our Azold and our Lady of the Lake, that's a Needle Fiber. Needle Fiber is going to summon um, Bylon Sphere. Now Sphere um, is pretty normal in these combos, but what we're going to do next is act actually deviates from the normal combo because we still want a Link Summon, so a Roar Dawn is out of the question. Um, so what we're going to do instead is we're going to turn this Needle Fiber into Link Cross. Link Cross is going to generate two level one tokens, which is excellent. Um, and this token I put right here is going to represent the number of random cards in our hand because we're going to get a formula draw. Um, and then when we get that formula draw, we can actually, uh, chain block it with the sphere so you can, like, guarantee the draw. Which, if they Ash Blossom a random formula synchron, that's on them, though. But that's whatever. Um, so, we'll get a random draw. Um, sphere will equip itself to any of these guys. Um, you'll use the sphere, uh, to equip the Durandal, and then Durandal will send itself to search specifically uh, Renond, uh, or however you pronounce that, it's a weird name. Then we're going to synchro the other level 1 token and the formula into Marcher. Marcher's going to get back the sphere, and then our level 4 Ishtar and our level 1 sphere is going to make uh, Synchro Roland. Uh, now, Something here is the sphere is actually not once per turn, and one of the equip spells you send is Joyce. So if you have like a like a gear freed in hand uh, or something along those nature uh, along that nature that you don't want to really banish an equip spell or like 
Because as it currently stands, the only equip spell you would want to banish at the current state is Durandal. Um, so you don't have to banish for it. But it's also just an extender. Like if you have another fire random warrior in hand, you can summon it. But in this specific combo, you don't need to worry about that. Um, we're going to declare Roland just to get a free search in the end phase. Why not? Um, and then since we control fire war now, we can summon Renand. And he's going to get back living fossil. And now he's a tuner. Um, so next we're going to use Living Fossil to revive the Connector, which is why the Yuzold should never search Connector in this scenario, because you actually need to summon it one last time. But the level 5 Roland and the level 4 Connector, they're going to make uh, Charlemagne, which uh, in in phase, you guys know what this does. He's going to rip a card out of their hand, get into equips, and get some equips. He's going to be beefy, untargetable, and he's going to just snowball that uh, smoke grenade of the thief. So now we're going to turn this Roland into a Link Rebo. And this Link Rebo and Link Cross are both Cyverse, so we're going to make them Union Carrier. Now, we will finally use the Ishtar, banishing the Renond and the Isolde, which are both Noble Knights, to summon back Ishtar. And we are going to use Union Carrier's effect to equip... Uh, well, you can use Lady Lake, wh whichever. But we're going to equip uh, Sangan from the deck. Yeah, this is the kind of goofy part. Realistically, uh, there's another chain of events that's going to happen where you can equip something a little more relevant instead. It just will end you with uh, two less negates, but you can lock your opponent out of the extra deck. And the thing that's locking them out of the extra deck is effectively indestructible. Uh but, so, this is a level 4 Ishtar, level 1 Lady of the Lake, uh, Lady of the Lake, um, so we're going to Synchro, so it's going to banish itself, Sangen's going to fall off, getting us to search, but, uh, we're actually going to summon, uh, the Innoble Knight, and he's going to equip a OG original Noble Arms, any of them, preferably Destiny, because this is, it, it would, like, normally be chosen between Destiny or uh, Excalibur, but uh, Excalibur doesn't re-equip, which is actually super important um, for what we're about to do with the Sangyan. Um And all the others just have completely irrelevant effects, so uh, Destiny is probably the one you want to go for, uh, because it's going to equip to the Charlemagne, so now it can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects um, when you equip it with this. Um, so uh, the Sangan is going to search Morgan. Uh, any, so this is really funny. Uh, this deck now has a way to search its own hand trap. Uh, it's a really, really complicated way to do it, but you can do that. But the play I was saying earlier is that um, if you just want to end on this, um, you can synchro summon this before you equip the whatever, and then if you equip it with Destiny or even Excalibur if you want to, you can then use the Union Carrier to equip, uh, what's it called, the Buster, the Buster guy, the guy, the, the Scythe, effectively, um, and then he'll be at 31, either untarget or untargetable or indestructible. And then your opponents just can't play. Um, but you won't end with two negates. You'll just end with a lockdown uh, instead. But now we synchro the uh, Ignoble Knight and the Metal Marcher um, into Borload Savage. Um, Savage is going to equip the Needle Fiber for two negates. And the Destiny is going to re-equip to the Charlemagne. So now Morgan is totally live. Um, so there we go, two negates. Um, so we have six cards in hand, and here's the funny part. Um, we have Roland Engrave, because the Ishtar never needed to banish it, because we had Isolde and uh, Ro Renowned. So now Roland will be able to equip. So that's one disruption. Morgan's another disruption. Borload Savage is another disruption. Uh, so this is a disruption, this is a disruption, this is a disruption. And, um, I, that's three disruptions. You're going to pick a card out of their hand, and if Dolphin got a card out of their hand... Yeah, that, that's, uh, I think you're, I think they'll have one card to play with that you can't hinder. Um, but, 
either way. Uh, it's in phase, so we'll search off Roland. So we have seven cards in hand, so you need to find a use for one of them. Otherwise, you'll just discard it. And then Charlemagne, he's going to equip um, Smoke Grenade of the Thief. Gets pop. You get to look at their hand so you know what to negate. Um, and, yeah, you have snowballed very, very hard. Um, and the thing is, that was just with two... And in those two monsters, you are given a way to not only extend one play, but you haven't even, like, that's not even including an extender. Because a lot of these scenarios, um, like, if you had a, if you had Lady of the Lake, uh, cross, uh, not cross, connector, Lady of the Lake, connector, a fire warrior, and an extender, uh, this... Where this Borload Savage would be, it would be moved over uh, to this column, like at the very edge. Because you would have two monsters on board to make uh, IP Mascarena. Uh, and when you do that, uh, on your opponent's turn, you can turn the Union Carrier and the IP into Appaloosa. That's two more negates. Now, while it will be little, because of the fact that you have Roland Engrave, anytime they just try to run over it, you can just pop the thing that they're trying to attack with. So that's something to keep in mind. But yeah, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoy this really goofy combo for this deck. Um, I actually really enjoy this deck. It reminds me a lot of when I was playing Chaos Blade, where it's just like all these random monsters can just work really well together. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And remember, Master Dinnerflax will take your soul.